be going backpacking in Dare 2. The Golite Jam. This is the 30 or 35 liter. It's not the 50. A lot of people think it's the 50. 50 is really big. Anyway, trekking poles. This. Got a little bit over a 12 pound base weight. That's my winter pack. I'm going to show you what's inside. Base weight being without the water. Everything else is in there. Okay, one of the things that's in there that I open up first is just a Velcro around. This is my Tyvek ground sheet. In here I've got some ultralight tent stakes that I've made. These are a small piece of titanium. I just cut, sharpen the ends. Let the top's flat. Okay, here's a look at everything I'm gonna carry. That's a breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'll show you what's inside that. It's also got some drink mixes. I'll show you what's in these two bags. My cook system. This is some alcohol fuel. This is the um, Sawyer water filter and two bags. That's the jam. Now I've got snacks. And in the little pocket I've got uh, allergy medicines headache medicines, cold medicines, and flu medicine. Over here I've got uh, some DEET, 100% DEET, and some of that uh, lip balm. Okay, my shelter is the Six Moons Gatewood Cape. This is the no uh Six Moons mesh tent that goes with it. This is the Thermarest Pro Light, half uh, short, and the Marmot, 15 degree. Some diamondback trekking poles, a head net, beanie, ace bandage, my knee's been bothering me, a bandana, my tent stakes, an Algene water bottle, and a jacket. A jacket because rainy season is here in Southern California. For how long, I don't know, but I'm gonna be sleeping at between 9,500 and 10,024 feet uh, when I do go up. So let me show you it's in these bags. Let's see. This is just my um my hygiene. It's paper, toothbrush, a couple more aspirin. This glide, this chafe stuff, it's great. Um some floss, some uh, uh, disposable toothbrush. It's got the toothpaste right in it and pick it the other side. And I carry this all the time. Whether it be like this or not, you do get burned in overcast. In here, it's really windy line. on the summit, so I want to be able to pick it up from all directions. Got a Leatherman light. It's really bright. Just put a new battery in it. I've got my headlight, Princeton Tech. I don't keep the batteries in it. I keep them out it's just in the box of them. Some extra batteries. Okay. So, food. When I go out alone, I tend to eat like a king. <laughs> I've got two coffees. Bumblebee albacore steak. Some rice, single use olive oil. When I pass the one source of water, I'll fill up all my water bottles. Okay, these is two large bags in this. Let me see how many ounces. Okay. Are. One of them is 32 ounces and one 64 ounce. And with the Sawyer, the beauty of the Sawyer is I can just fill this up from the river. That's 64 ounces. No, no filter it. Just fill it up, cap it. Fill this one up and cap it. I can put both of these in the back right here. On my pack, this is empty. When it, all this is in it, this is empty. So that can hold all my water. And then, when I go to use it, I just screw this on, filter it. So that takes care of my water. This uh, is alcohol from an alcohol stove. My lunch, noodles, breakfast, scrambled eggs with ham, peppers single trail mix and a joint health. When I'm climbing up, I'll be climbing up approximately five 
5,000 feet elevation change and um, in four and a half miles. So this is for my knee. Anyway, that's the food, the hygiene, and my lighting systems. Let me show you this quick set. Okay, this is the Snow Peak titanium fry pan. Three or four paper towels. A couple teas. Spork, titanium spork. A wind guard. Stove. Lighter. Bowl. And the pot. So all of this stuff here, I think it's 12 pounds, 2 ounces. 12 pounds, 3 ounces, something like that. And with the water, I'll be carrying 64 plus, what's this, 32, 64, plus another one over there, so one, two, three, about four, four and a half liters, two pounds to each, looking at about almost nine pounds of water, but only from about halfway up the mountain is the water source. I'll be carrying just one till I get to the river. And then after that, I'll be carrying the rest of this because I'm gonna come down a different route. I'm gonna come down a route that is six and a half miles down with a six and a half thousand mile elevation drop. So anyway, this is my sleeping system. It's time to break out the plasma. It's getting cold up here at night. The half sheet, the bug net. I doubt I'll even use this. I'm just bringing this just in case. But at 10,000 feet, especially with cold weather, there are no bugs. I'll be using just this gatewood key. So that's the plan. This is what's in my pack. You'll be seeing me in a couple days. So I'll see you guys on the trail. Oh, I'm going to do another pack, a video too. Pack my pack. I want you guys to go through some of my videos, see my different gear, pick out my shelter, my pad, pick out everything. You're going to pack my pack. So you're going to tell me what to put in my pack, which pack to use, and looking at the area where I'm located in, San Gabriel Mountains, you're gonna pick a place for me to go. I've already decided how I'm, how I'm gonna choose who to listen to, just the majority, the majority rules. And uh, you guys are gonna pack my pack, and you guys are gonna send me on a hike. Something you wanna see in use, somewhere you wanna see it in use. So go ahead and check through my videos, see my different shelters I'll put a list of some of them under this video and um, you guys are gonna pack my pack and send me on a hike and if you want to join me hey that's all the better anyway see you guys in the next one